Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I am Ali and I am doing a quick video about sleep and sleep disturbances and sleep quality is a hormone regulator, is a life regulator, mood regulator, etc. So sleep, sleep is very important and someone asked this question on the last video and because the answer is kind of complex I figured I'm gonna do the very basic first kind of approach we can do when our sleep is disturbed. Uh, and the first, very first thing that we can do is regulate our circadian rhythms by following the, um, the rhythms of the day, so the light. Um, getting out into the natural light first thing in the morning the earlier the better i'm not a, a very early riser i don't wake up with the sunrise and uh, for me perfection has never worked so if i get very very specific about being a certain perfect way that that mentality alone doesn't work for me but if i get the sun on my skin and in my eyeballs uh first thing in the morning or in the morning and sometimes my plants really need to be watered so they push me to get out as fast as i can because otherwise they will get dried up and all that, the sprouting plants. Um, that really regulates my entire, um, the cycles uh, for the day. So cortisol, it's really high in the morning and it should be dropping, dropping, dropping by the time it's sunset or it's time for bed. Later in the day, we should it should get lower and lower and lower. And at the same time, melatonin will rise up and as we get the sunlight into our eyes, eyes are very important. Uh, and that is the UVA rays, actually. Um, we only hear bad stuff about the sun and about uh, the UVA rays, but they, they can lower certain, uh, um, uh, in a lot of studies, certain, uh, they have been proven to lower certain rates of cancer and to improve mood and sleep quality and all of that because the sun has always been what has regulated us so if we suffer with sleep disturbances that's literally the first thing we can do either watch sunset depending on what type of person you are watch sunset uh, or sunrises for me sunsets have been really in i've been really out in the sunlight at sunset if i can watch it it's really powerful but even if i'm not actively watching it i'm receiving the sun rays so that has always been very, very powerful for me for regulating my system. Grounding is another way because we charge our system with electricity and we discharge static. It's very simple. It sounds like, oh, it's too simple to be uh, effective. It's very effective. You can test it. It's uh, when you don't feel good, when you don't feel energetic, when you're jet lagged. Putting your body somewhere on the ground, on the soil, on the earth is extremely balancing to our system. It improves how we breathe, our breath quality. Um, it improves um, if we're buzzing with static, with EMF charge, it can discharge that. It's really powerful. So those are two very simple things that mostly anybody can somehow work into their, into their life. Um, another thing is avoiding really bright light at night, which I don't always do. Look at me, I'm shooting, I, was, I just finished shooting yoga with the lights at night and sometimes this is what I gotta do, this is work and that's when I could do it. And um, generally I still sleep okay even though it's a, it's a rule, break, breaking the rule, but avoiding blue light at night can really, really help calming activities at night can really really help some form of a i tend to play with loaded games kind of like board games uh, reading stuff like that can be really helpful and especially if it's a repetitive thing that you always do it kind of gets your body into the rhythm of calming down and uh, letting go of thoughts because i had trained myself to not have any urgent thoughts at night that arise and like you can't let go of and that's a kind of a form of a training and the way I feel that I train myself to do it is through yoga, surrender, letting go. There is moments in life when we just have to learn how to exhale and let go and leave everything for tomorrow. Tell ourselves that nothing is urgent until tomorrow. There is a saying in Bulgarian, I think in every language probably, that 
the mornings are wiser than the the nights the morning is wiser than the night so don't make decisions don't get overworked at night don't get your mind started and sometimes you say you're not in control of your mind you have to exhale breathe speaking of which movement during the day movement will help you sleep better if we don't move everything is kind of stagnant in the body the blood is not moving properly we're not oxygenated or our bodies muscles fascia is not properly nourished by the blood so movement movement is fantastic almost every day if I, if not every day some form of movement some days intense movement some days vinyasa some days i've talked about this some some days just walking uh, some days gardening some days just apps i just prepared one class that is just for apps floor apps but it awakens the lower apps breath work can be very helpful but this can get complicated with the breath work so uh, longer exhalations when you lay down can be very helpful for helping you fall asleep um, another thing is watching out your supplements and uh, supplements and caffeine those are two different things caffeine if you're sensitive to those types of things um, you can reduce your caffeine and definitely don't have any caffeine after noon that was when I was drinking coffee for me afternoon after 12 I wasn't having any more coffee that was a cut off time and also the amount of coffee just a small cup for me was okay not disturbing mm, now sometimes I have green tea and sometimes I don't it doesn't seem to matter uh, to me but I, I generally possibly feel better without any caffeine uh, my sleep seems the same but there is no need for green tea I find anymore if you want me to make a detailed video of how i quit coffee i can i did it in a way where i gradually decreased to where i never experienced any i just slowly got off of it without any any withdrawals or side effects um i still am looking for the perfect substitute of something warm and kind of nourishing i have reishi and cacao in the morning or cordyceps and they're okay I make um, the best milk I have made so far it was a recommendation from one of you is uh, hemp seed in water blend it in the blender I don't strain it it is very good it's very fast um, uh, so watching your supplements sometimes um, certain supplements can be very awakening especially if you're taking them towards the second part of the day or at all like a certain herbs can also be very sleep um, uh, interact interfere with your sleep um, herbs that can help with sleep are lemon balm um, um, sage reishi for me is fantastic I actually was looking at reviews on Amazon and many people said I don't like this herb because it was supposed to give you energy and it's making me sleepy the thing is reishi is acts in the way that you need it if you are way too wired it will it will make you relax and sleepy kind of tired because you need it and if you're rested it will pick you up it will be slightly elevating not stimulating but slightly slightly uplifting uh, for me reishi it's grounding i like it a lot it's i barely feel it but it is grounding it's slightly grounding it's fantastic uh, if you have emotional things that bother you at night, flower essence is always there for me. Magnesium is fantastic. That's another thing that you can look into uh, for sleep. Progesterone can also be that one no, over the counter. I'll try to I, I put I put I put the link in one of my previous talk videos, but I'll try to put it again. It's an organic excellence, I think the brand. I'll double check. I'm pretty certain. And. Um, I'm not big on those things in general but um, sometimes they can just bring you back snap you back where you need to be and then you can take it from there uh, John R. Lee his books are really good I really um, enjoy his approach to hormones and natural approach to hormones with a little bit of uh, um, over-the-counter yam derived progesterone it is synthetic but it is by it's called bioidentical uh, but it is there are it's a molecule synthesized in a lab from I am so some people are against it some people are pro but you can uh, it's in certain cases you can also work with um hormone specialists and they'll probably recommend because most hormone specialists really like uh, progesterone they probably 
uh, double into that. Um, those are really basic, basic first-hand approaches. Light is the first one uh, to look into. Uh, and if those things don't work, there is things like melatonin at night. And I sometimes, I always have melatonin on hand and sometimes I take it. For me, melatonin only when I'm already in bed with the lights out because lights can, can immediately um, um, interrupt it. So I don't take it like an hour before bed or anything like that. Just right uh, right if if i know if i'm if i know i will benefit from it it's after after just right when i'm falling asleep um those are the things that are kind of basic simple approachable and can be very helpful i feel that if we regulate our circadian rhythms if we don't get wired or wired tired or just wired in the wrong parts of the day then things will just start to regulate for us um, without certain forms of exercise i think sleeping also can be difficult and if it, with too much exercise also same same thing so just the balance of those things if you have something amazing that you personally have benefited from uh, share it in the comments below I wanted to make this kind of not complicated because those are the first things that most of us would benefit, maybe a little bit. Now, another thing that is a little more complicated is red light therapy. I like it, for, like I like it first thing in the morning. Sometimes in the face and eyes, I mostly do it in my back. I really like it. Um, other things like saunas for me are very, very helpful. They're very relaxing, very detoxing. Um, also not eating uh, some anything heavy before bed it's very helpful keeping that liver um, functioning optimally it's really good it's a job because the liver processes chemicals and poisons and all of that and we do have a lot of that in our world and also excess estrogen is processed also through the liver broccoli can help with that broccoli sprouts also can uh, uh, help with removing some of that excess estrogen um, soy and those things and um that's about it this is this class uh, this video is the length of one of my my um heat workouts just 12 minutes uh but post post in the comments further discussions uh things that worked for you and remember to flow with love strength and ease